Hey guys, so today we're going to be making another project using code.org. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying to make a soccer game. So I went ahead and named this to a soccer game. So let's begin. As you all know from the last video, we need first thing we need to do is set a background. So since we're doing a soccer game, we don't want a city. Rather, we would want a um a soccer field, which is right here. Now, the second thing is to actually make the characters or sprites. So we have to go click that. So we want to make a boy, since he's gonna be the one that's gonna be playing soccer. So we have him right there. So as you can see, um, we're gonna have to adjust him. But before we do that, we have to make a soccer ball. So now we all we have to do is just get the soccer ball. So as you can see, the soccer ball and the boy are the same size, and that's not very realistic. And they're also really huge. So in order to fix that, we have to go into actions and use something called set character size to so we want to set the boy size to 50 and now do the same thing for the soccer ball but this time we want to make it the make it size 35 because the soccer ball naturally has to be smaller than the player so so since we did 35 remember we have to change it to a soccer ball or else the soccer ball won't change size now we have to position these so we want the boy right there on the other side and the ball right in front of him so there we go and now we need a goalkeeper like an actual soccer game so in, so, since we cannot get actual goalkeepers, we're going to make our goalkeeper an uh, angry bird. So, we have to go into sprites and then make a new sprite and just fit it right in there. We want to make an uh, angry bird. Again, it's too huge, so we have to do the same exact thing, except we keep this size 50. So, we need to do that. Okay, that's good. Now, with that out of the way, we need to just reposition the Angry Bird and we can move on to the next phase of our project. Okay, now, as we did our setup, we need to do our events. So, from our last class, you may remember that events are things that can change something. For example, your birthday changes your age. So, we're going to be using the when key pressed block again. And this time we're going to do space. After that, we want to use something called behaviors, which it basically does sprite begins. And from behaviors, you get that. So in sprite begins, we want the ball. So as you can see, there's a little gap here. So we need to do something with that gap so we go back into behaviors and then since let's see the ball isn't moving right now right so to make it move we need to we need to make it move down but in but moving down means moving south so we need to get the moving south block so before we keep going let's touch this and see how it is so we want to click space bam you see but still, something's still not right here. So, what we have to do is now we have to go. We need to go back into events and we have to use when, when the ball touches the angry bird block. The reason we're using this is because we want the angry bird to actually 
stop. So, in order to do that, we have to go into behaviors and do sprite stops. And we want the soccer ball to stop moving south because then it's like the goalkeeper catch the ball and like it stop. He stopped it. So we have to go into behaviors again and do moving south. So I just split this apart a little because we have to do something now. So what we have to do is so we have to use behaviors. So as you can see, we're gonna go into behaviors and we wanna do sprite begins. And they and we want to do the angry bird. We go back into behaviors, go down, and we want to do swimming left and right. Now, I know it's not swimming, but in code.org, that's all you can do. Like, it's not like you can't actually um, make it, like, um, go all the way, like, around. Like, you can't, like, make it walk around. You have to do swimming left and right. It's still going to be fine, though. So, let's see. Let's test it out now. Let's see if we got it. So space. It works now. Congratulations. You have done this project. I hope you try this out as well. And hope you have fun. Bye.